Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today, our group would like to present one of the chosen topics from the MIC 200 syllabus for the poster assignment which is Nucleic Acid Metabolism. For your information, our group is consists of three members which is Emi Nazrira Muhammad Zukrini, Nur Fitriza Abdul Aziz and myself, Yamini Hanania Nazura Ashar. So here is our poster on Nucleic Acid Metabolism. Alright, in this poster presentation, we would like to highlight and explain to you on introductions of nucleic acid metabolism, its biological functions, and also its applications in human living. Alright, so for the introduction part, here I would like to share with all of you about the 5 fun facts on nucleic acid that I guess many of us didn't know about it, right? Okay, so the first one is parents and their children share 99.5% of the same DNA. Second, your DNA will reach from the earth to the sun and back over 600 times. Third, humans have 98% of the same DNA as a chimpanzee. Fourth, humans and cabbage share about 40 until 50% of the same DNA and also in fact viruses make up at least 8% of human DNA. Next, did you know what is nucleic acid metabolism? Never mind, I will tell you this. Nucleic acid metabolism by definition is a process by which nucleic acid which is DNA and RNA are synthesized and degraded. As you know, nucleic acids are the polymers of the nucleotides. These nucleotides can be separated into purines and pyrimidine components. In purines, it consists of adenine and guanine, while pyrimidines are consist of cytosine, thymine, and also uracine. These nucleotides metabolic pathway that involve in the biosynthesis, catabolism, salvage, are may subjected to different kind of disturbances, which these disturbances may lead to different disorders such as a lech nyhan syndrome, hyperkinia, gout, and also purine necrocyte deficiency. I am Norvitriza who would like to present about the application of nucleic acid metabolism. The first application of nucleic acid metabolism is in pharmaceutical, which used in detection of coronavirus COVID-19. Nucleic acid detection methods has become revolutionary technology for virus detection. The method based on polymerase chain reaction (PCR), which involves an enzymatic method to produce numerous copies of genes by separating two strands of the DNA containing the gene segment and this copy happen continuously. The detection of coronavirus involves the amplification of the viral RNA by a process called real-time reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction RT-PCR. Here are the steps in RT-PCR to detect coronavirus. Firstly, the specimen is taken from the nose or throat of an individual. Then, the RNA from the specimen is extracted and is transcribed into complementary DNA. Once the primers has bound to the DNA, they provide a starting point for the DNA polymerase to help copy it. DNA polymerase then degrades the bound probe which results in an increased fluorescence signal. The fluorescence increase as copies of the virus DNA are made. If the fluorescence level crosses certain threshold, the test is positive. Second, nucleic acid metabolism also used in food production as a flavoring agent. The five nucleotides, which are 5-inosine monophosphate, 5-IMP, 5-guanosine monophosphate, 5-GMP, and 5-xanthosine monophosphate, 5-XMP, are effective enhancers and positive level moderators in food products. The presence of 5 nucleotides resulting simple sugar interaction, which can increase the concentration of flavor compounds. My name is Amy Nazira binti Muhammad Zukurini. I would like to present about the biological functions of nucleic acid. 
The first biological functions of nucleic acid is replication. Replication is a process by which a single DNA molecule produces two identical copies of itself. Replication of DNA is an enzyme catalyst process. In this process, two strands of DNA highly unwind and each strand serves as a template or pattern for the synthesis of a new strand. Newly synthesized complementary strand is an exact copy of the original DNA. In this way, hereditary characteristics are transmitted from one cell to another. The second biological functions of nucleic acid is protein synthesis. There are two steps of protein synthesis, which are transcriptions and translation. Next, let's continue with transcription process. Transcription is copying of sequence of bases from the DNA strand on the RNA molecule. In this process, ribose nucleotide assemble along the unfold template instead of the oxyribose nucleotide, and then the base uracil is substituted for the base thymine. Usually, the synthesis of RNA or DNA is always take place in 5' prime until 3' prime direction. This process is catalyzed by an enzyme called as RNA polymerase. In this way, DNA transfers its genetic code to mRNA. After synthesis, RNA detaches from DNA and moves from nucleus to the cytoplasm where it acts as template for protein synthesis. Lastly, DNA returns to its double helix structure. Then, let's move to the translation process. In this process, mRNA directs protein synthesis in the cytoplasm of cell with involvement of transfer RNA and ribosomal particles. In this process, it will occur with the attachment of mRNA to ribosome particle, and then it will give the message of the DNA and detects the specific amino acid sequence for the synthesis of the protein. For bases in mRNA is act in the form of triplets, and each triplet act as a code for a particular amino acid. This triplet is called as a codon. There may be more than one codon for the same amino acid. Then, this codon expressed in mRNA is read by transfer RNA which carrying anticodon and is translated into an amino acid sequence. The process is repeated again and again thus protein are synthesis. After completion, it is released from ribosome.